Hey all, Christmas time is here and I wanna share with you our favorite STEM toys that we've decided to get for our kids for Christmas this year. Welcome back, my name is Ashley. If we haven't met yet, I love homeschooling my three kids and I am a former English teacher and I also like to talk about affordable homeschooling. But right now it's December and we're getting things for our kids for Christmas. And I have to say that this video is in collaboration with Christy at One Blessed Mess. She is a sweet homeschooling mom of five now. She just had a new baby and she loves sharing her journey of homeschooling over there. She's got uh, beautiful videos and really sweet families. Be sure and check her channel out and the playlist below for all the other mamas who are sharing what we got our kids for Christmas this year. And I have to confess something, guys. <laughs> Normally my husband does a lot of, of the Christmas shopping. This is like his thing. He gets super excited looking for deals. He loves buying gifts. He loves giving gifts. He is all about this. And But I'm just really happy that he enjoys doing this for our kids and for our family. So this year, we we decided we wanted to be very focused on the things that we purchased for our kids and we wanted to get things that they could build with that they could create with that would be a toy that that would last a long long time those th these are the things that we've chosen it's really not a lot once you see it hopefully they give you some ideas if you're looking for that so here we go let's get started this first one neither of us had heard of before but my husband came across it on a deal site it's called snap ships and um, oh no he heard about it from a friend of his who uh, he heard about it from a friend of his who purchased these things for his child, but it's toys that you build and it's very similar to Legos, but it's specific to robots and spaceships, basically. We got it for both of our sons. We first got it for our five-year-old and then we're like, well, our seven, almost eight-year-old would probably like them too. Even our daughter is probably gonna play with them too. So we think all of our kids are really gonna like these. So these are really neat and I'm excited to have them try it. We are also a really big Lego family. My husband came across another deal. I was like, we need to get this, we need to get this. So I didn't pick up the whole thing, but it's a Lego City, I'm gonna be quiet so they don't hear me, train set. This is just an addition for it, but we, my kids love train sets. We have a few. We're going to gift a few to some other people, we think, but uh, we saw this Lego train set and we knew that our kids would be so excited to play with these. The cool thing about the train sets is it's never the same every time you play with it. You can make it different um, and they can change it up. It, it's like a brand new toy every time they play with it. So we really do like train sets and we're excited for this new Lego set. All right, speaking of Legos, Another deal my husband found. <laughs> it's actually not as big as the box you would think, but it's pretty heavy. There's a lot of Lego bricks in here. And that keeps falling down. 1,500 pieces, guys. So it's just a general um, box of Lego bricks. Um, it has some it has some plans and ideas for animals, it looks like it. There's some more on the back. But the whole point of this is my husband wanted them to be creative and to not necessarily just follow a plan for a set, but to um, to be able to build anything, to build a zoo or to build you know a house or to build an RV or a pizza place or whatever. So we like Legos a lot and we're gonna be adding this to their collection. All right, lastly, these are so cool. I want to play with these and I'm, I'm so excited. My daughter was looking through a catalog that she saw and these Kiva blocks were in the catalog and she was like, I want these. And my husband's like, oh, okay. Cause they're similar to Legos. You can make something new every time. They're very versatile. You can build a house, you can build a tower, you can build a, a city, you can, whatever you want. But this one is really neat. It's the Kiva Contraptions set for simple slopes to wild runs. It comes with little balls. It's like making a marble run where they build it and then they stick the ball on it and then it goes down at however they want. So we saw these and knew that our kids would love these. I've already got some neat plans for it. I found a domino challenge from Frugal Fun for Boys and Girls. I'll link to that in the description below. But she has a domino challenge where you can build things like this. And just to give them ideas for things to do in the afternoon, especially during the cold months that are coming up. So we're excited for this one as well. All right, so those are all the gifts we got that are STEM based, which our kids love for sure. Um, but I also have 
uh, two other categories my kids really like, and that's video games and um, art is the other one. So I'm gonna share with you one of the video games we're gonna get our kids, and that is Moving Out for the Nintendo Switch. Um, my husband found it on sale, for sure, it was a deal. Um, and we're gonna give it to my daughter because she really likes Animal Crossing and uh, other games like this. So uh, we're pretty excited for this game. And then my kids, especially my daughter, but all of them really, um, are really into art right now in crafting and watercolors. My daughter is learning watercolors. And this is a gift my sister got her actually, but I thought I would show it to you because um, I think it's really, really neat. Um, it's the watercolor with me in the ocean by Dana Fox. And it has tutorials in it and you can, you can even paint right on the book because the book is made out of watercolor paper. And in the book, it gives you the tutorial on how to do it. And then you just paint it right there on the book. One time my daughter wanted to do it with me with, she has the in the woods one as well. But um, so she took some extra watercolor paper, sketched the pattern on there for me. And then she painted in the book and then I painted on the extra piece of paper. So it was a fun activity that I could do with her that she really likes to do. So I'm super excited for this. Ah. All right, so there you go. Short and sweet and super simple of what we're getting for our kids this year for Christmas. If you'd like info on any of these items that are in the description box below. Also, if you'd like to see more of my Christmas content, um, you can check out the playlist uh, for other videos on Christmas content. And I really hope you guys can seek to make Christmas special this year, even though it's been a rough year in 2020. We can choose to seek joy during this season and make it really super special for our kids and for our family. So I wish you guys a Merry Christmas and you rock at homeschooling. I'll see you next time. Whoa, oh, oh. La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 Making our Christmas memories